Okay, good morning. Mike Stangle here. Uh, we're going to look at how I make an extract. Uh, irrigation. So you're going to set your bucket, get a nice little scale. So I teared it. Bucket's empty. I'm going to put you on pause. And I'm going to work with 5.18 pounds. So I've got my two buckets here, the Johnson Sioux and my worm castings, approximately the same, just over five pounds. First off, when I do my extract, I'm going to put some water in. All right. So basically now, I'm going to mix it. Done. And we can put this away. I'm going to start with the uh, worm castings today. So what I use is from a commercial restaurant. I went and got this strainer for spaghetti. Uh, I've used the large tea bags, but the tea bags at the end of the day when I checked the meth, I still found majority of life within it. So I now wash it. Okay, great now. So you're gonna take your bucket, just pouring it in through that. And you can see. Not all of it came out. So as I mentioned, this that is the worm castings that I'm putting in right now. See, it's in. Um, let's start rinsing it. Now what I do is I crimp my hose to allow. There we go. So I'm gonna move in a circle, clean it down. However you want to do it, crazy eggs. There it is. Wow. I just do circle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Watch the color coming out. So it's going to come up really nice and dark. Yeah, there's a lot of water going on my phone right now. It's going to come up real dark. And that'll transition. That darkness will transition into a uh, clear water. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. And you're going to see this melt away. Sunday best. Don't fill it all the way up. It does take a lot longer. Again, for you, for me, I don't want all the full pressure. I'm gonna crimp the hose, start working it down. Mm. 
And then it looks like I like the circle. <laughs> I keep working it down from the outside in. You can do again anything back and forth. It's a nice tea color right now up to what we're looking for. There's the darkness where I might have missed or haven't been to an area. So let's keep going. Again, we're looking for the transition to clear. I've never had our pump clog up when applying, nor the gun. We don't use any screen on the filter of the pump. It's just straight through. put back in my garden. I have another pile that I put all this back in for the worms. I'll dump that right into another that empty bucket of worm castings. Like I say, when we do these extracts, we'll look at the Johnson Sioux, the finished product, then the product that I just rinsed, we'll look at that, then we'll look at this extract once it's finished, and when I look at the extract, I would not have had put any humic or any of the foods in there. It'll be just straight extract and water. Then we'll look at a sample from the first lawn halfway through the day around lunch. At the end, which is the, maybe the last lawn. And even here, we've taken the sample upon cleaning to see what was left. And we do that um, monthly, almost every two to three weeks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it on its side. I'm going back and forth this way. It's coming out nice and dark still. Work your sides down again. You've got to see it go from that nice dark chocolate color to a clear hollow and you see that transition. scrub the top especially the top and the edges areas where it splashes up from the bubbling I clean the surface on the outside and when I get into the tank to the bottom I use uh, this guy and basically you scrub it and you rinse um, on the way out 
rinse this down. So one filling and you're rinsing this down the sides, keeping it, and then you'll scrub it, you'll rinse it. Um, I then use the finger test, you know, to see if it's uh, slippery, silky. We never get that. Keep her clean, you know, clean it out as you go. Don't let it, don't let it build. Take your time. If you can find a better way for yourself, you want to share it with others, do it. Right now, I believe, and I fully understand that this, for me, is a working solution. And this one's done. It comes out like a weak tea at times, and then it comes out really clear. And, and I'm almost at two, uh, 200 gallons. Yeah, we're at, I'm at 200 gallons and you can see water's clear. Debris is left. That goes in my bucket. And now I'm going to go clean my screen. Okay, as I was mentioning, I fill it with water up to 150, just below that. And then as I wash the worm casting in Johnson Sioux, I get it up to 200. And this is what the finished product looks like. So it's all ready to be mixed. So that guy is on. All right, this is the finished product. All mixed, been running for 30 minutes. I will now load the truck.